Hey Breezers, how are you guys? Okay, so we have another update from Foodie Beauty, 47 minutes ago. Hey guys, just read through some of your comments and yes, just wanted to confirm that I went to Montreal with Nader. We got invited to one of his friends' barbecue. I know I have put you all on an emotional roller coaster with my recent life choices, etc. So I was just trying to be vague. I wasn't trying to hide the truth. I will not hide anything. You know this. I even shared my quote-unquote diagnosis with you. I know I share a lot, and I know I F up a lot. See you soon, XO. All right, let's look at the comments. You weren't trying to be vague. You were trying not to get called out. You've shared way too much of your personal life. We know you don't have friends. Pete's was live streaming. You're only fooling yourself. None of this matters to any of us. This is entertainment for us, like Jerry Springer in the 90s. This is your life, though. Oh, well, it's fun and games now. The STD should have been your sign. We all, play the pipe. we all pay the piper, Chantal. I think he's coming to collect soon. Find better suited employment. People are combing YouTube for the next lol cow now. TikTok, 15 minutes of fame is almost, shame is almost up. Wow. You had a ton of views for your diagnosis. It wasn't just sharing to tell us. It was to make money. Another comment. I wasn't trying to hide the truth. I was just lying to hide what I was actually doing. The fact that you act like this at 40 is mind-blowing. I feel bad for your mom. Somebody else said, tune in tomorrow for It's Over. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Followed by, we are back together for the 100th and 111th time. But we are just friends. Oh, he needed someone to drive him there. It's so clear he just uses you, but you're totally fine with it. So why wouldn't he, I guess? And this next comment says, quote unquote, addicts are liars. I'm a liar. Your very own words. And Chelsea says, what's the next storyline? His friends poisoned me at the barbecue. That's how we both caught the CLAP. <laughs> Hi, Chelsea, by the way. Um... Did you eat the poutine before, after, or during the barbecue? Uh, somebody said, you aren't trying to be vague. You are intentionally trying to mislead your audience, and you do it every second day lately. Fortunately, we aren't lacking as many brain cells as you seem to be. All right, you guys. Well, have a great evening, great day, wherever you are. Um, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for the live at 3.30 p.m. Pacific. I'll talk to you then. Bye, guys.